Carlos, front right here. Uh, you had called to be on this fight because, you know, it's your birthday and your daughter lives out here. But to get a victory like that uh, on this massive of a card, I guess, what are the emotions now? Uh, I'm really happy. I worked so hard to be here. The first time when I saw UFC would be a show in Australia. Uh, I called my manager and say, bro, please put me to fight there. And on my last fight, I asked to fight here two months ago, and then UFC let me fight here, so I'm really happy. Did, uh, did you get to see your daughter this week before? And it, it, she, is she even old enough to go to your fights? Yeah, uh, she spent the week with me, and it was an amazing week, amazing, amazing weekend also. Today was an amazing day, so I'm really happy. Is it going to be hard to go back knowing that she's here? Yeah, a little bit. I, I, I really want to go see my mom and my friends and celebrate my birthday, but I also spend more time with her. In terms of this actual fight, uh, you're the first person to knock out Li Jingliang, who's been in the UFC for a long time. It looked like that straight right was finding a home the whole time. So was that the game plan coming in? Uh, the game plan is always the same. It's hurt my opponent, making him give up, and then knock him out. The punch that put him down, he was down for quite a while before he sat up. Have you ever knocked someone out like that where it, it takes him a while to you know, wake up? Say again, sorry. Have you ever knocked someone else like out like that because he was asleep for a little bit? Yeah, bro. I have one, not in UFC, but I have more than 100 Muay Thai fights. So I have a, a lot of knockouts. And yeah, I, I had knocked somebody out before like this. And, but today was a different because I had the biggest stage in the world. And I, we couldn't really hear back here, but it seems like you called out Chaos Williams. Is, is that why specifically him? Uh, I don't know. I think he's a good opponent. He's a striker. And to be honest, I, I almost buy my own house in Brazil. So if I don't get bonus today, for sure if I fight, I fight him, uh, maybe in December, I will get the bonus. Not against him, not per, not, nothing personal against him. Just business. And it is what it is. Do you feel like your, your superstardom is growing back home? Because we have guys like Charles Oliveira, Alex Pereira, like there's these massive stars because of their style of fighting. Do you mm. feel like your popularity is rising back in Brazil? No, I don't feel that. I just like to, 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 to work, uh, have fun, and that's it. I don't feel like that. Maybe when I start on the rank or something like that, top 10 or top 5, maybe, but not now. Uh, have you had your celebratory cigarette yet? No, bro. <laughs> I, I, I try to, to get one cigarette, you know, and I have and I have no cigarette. I try to get one after fight <laughs> and I don't have it. And please, if somebody have one, give me one, please. <laughs> Did, have you seen how expensive they are here? E, no, I have no idea. Yeah, they're very, they're like five times more expensive than back home. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, especially this one I smoke, don't have any place. Don't have it in America, don't have it here. That's why I really crazy to smoke. And uh, Carlos, have you ever thought about moving out to Australia and, and <laughs> maybe living here? Uh, no, really. Um, I spent almost six years in Thailand and there was a really, really nice lifestyle, really cool, but my family is only me and my mom in Brazil, and my mom is 70 years old, so I don't want to leave Brazil and leave my mom alone. I need to take care with her. She always take, take care about me since day one, because my daddy passed away when I was one year old, so it's not fair. I leave Brazil and let my mom there, and also my mom don't want to leave Brazil, so I'm going to stay there. And uh, with your connection to Australia, do you feel like you had a little bit more hometown love at all? Yeah, my daughter is Australian, and I was feeling home here. The Australian is amazing. The country is amazing, really beautiful place. Uh, the people here is really nice. So, yeah, I really, really, really enjoy spending the week here. Thank you. Thank you. Just one here, Carlos. Um, I saw a clip of you talking with uh, Israel Adesanya earlier this week. I just wanted to know how much of an inspiration he is to you throughout your career. Yeah, uh, he's a kickboxer. He was a kickboxer fight. He fought, fought in glory, uh, glory of heroes uh, in China. So he's a big inspiration for me. His style. Uh, yeah, he, he, he's an honor fight on the same card of him. And just one more. Um, looks like the UFC is going to come back next year, maybe to Sydney. Is that something you'd like to be a part of? Yeah, I'd love to come back in Australia and fight again. Awesome. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Just one for me, Carlos.
Carlos. I noticed during the fight you sat Lee down a couple of times, but you didn't immediately jump on that opportunity. You are being more careful and slow and, and, and tactful. Could you talk us through your decision uh, in that moment? Uh, you know, I, when I drop my opponent with a knockdown, I don't like to be rushed and then try to punch him when, he, when he's on the ground. And he tried he, he, he try to hug me and then you need to do grappling and things like that. And then he recovery and then get, get up again and then I'm gonna start everything again. I like to hurt him, dropping him down and then okay, get up and keep, let's keep it going. And then I'm gonna keep it going, hurt him a little bit, little bit, little bit. Once you think he give up and then I knock him out. Thank you, Mac. Thank you. Carlos, um, what was the... Um, just in terms of your overall performance tonight, do you think that's the best performance of your career so far? Mm, I had before a really good performance. I think my last fight was a really good performance. Uh, I, I don't know, but I really like this one because it is a really good opponent. It is a really tough opponent, good striker. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm happy, but I don't know if it was the best performance of my career. Uh, what was the issue of Wayans when you guys got forward at forward? Was that just build up for the fight? Say again? The, at Wayans when you got forward to forward and you pushed each other, was that yeah. just emotions? No, no, it's not emo it having emotions. For my part, no. I just like to, because the people who are going to watch the fight, they like it, you know. They When I come to watch some fight I don't want to see the guys like shake the hands and smile to each other or something like that so I just do what I like to see you know when I'm not there thanks so much